skulls found in a cave in Peru have UFO hunters convinced that they are thousands of years old. And they prove the existence of aliens. Yo IO fam, what is good? Welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte and I'm your host. Today we're going to talk about aliens. So some rather peculiar looking skulls that look a lot like extraterrestrials have been found in an ancient cave. These skulls have UFO enthusiasts convinced that aliens must have lived on Earth thousands of years ago. And they could have been teeny tiny like this. The cave the skulls were found in were in the southern desert of Peru, called the Atacama Desert. It stretches from Peru to a small part of Bolivia. The object appears to be a mummified alien skull. It is elongated and miniature and it was found with several other objects. It appears to come from a creature that is about 2 feet tall. Another skeleton of a miniature grey alien was also found. Now I'm not so sure that this was an actual alien skull. I believe it could have actually been an artifact belonging to an ancient civilization that was made to emulate an alien. Ancient aliens are things that look like aliens are often found in cultural artifacts. Look ok, if it was a real skull it would have holes for the eyeballs wouldn't it? These eyes kinda look like they've been drawn. However, biologist Brian Forrester who also runs the youtube channel Hidden Inca Tours examined the skull and his findings have alien enthusiasts very excited. He said that the underside of the skull indicates that the article is bone. Here's what the underside of the skull looks like. It appears to be bone marrow. Scott C. Waring, well known ufologist, even posted the finds on UFO sightings daily. He added, This is a short alien, so they are small. Does that make them existing impossible? What do you guys think? If aliens existed, do you think they could have been this small? Scott Waring also added, The shortest human in the world was 21 and a half inches. Did he exist? Of course he did. Brian Forrester said the skull is about 3 to 5 millimeters thick and it has thick grey skin. He also said that the mouth is so small it's possible it's not even used for feeding. His team have taken skin and bone samples for DNA analysis. So guys, does this look like an elaborate hoax to you? The exact location of the find is not actually known, and the person who discovered these skulls is also not known. Don't you think that if anyone found an alien skull they would definitely want their name attached to it? Mr. Forrester has apparently had a ton of criticism in the past from skeptics. He was involved in DNA tests which allegedly confirmed that 3000 year old elongated skulls did not have human DNA. He has not released the details of the test or the name of the person who carried out the tests, which kind of seems fishy. Scientists claim that the skulls are most likely an extreme example of skull elongation, which is a deformation practice done by several ancient cultures. It is done by wrapping an infant's head and binding it while it's still soft, so that the skull grows in an elongated shape. Do you guys think these skulls are a hoax? Let me know in those comments below. Speaking of comments, I'm now going to respond to some of yours. Dean Liddell said, I owe as a Canadian conspiracy to bring the truth of aliens and stuff. Yes! That is what I like to hear. Hey man, sooner or later aliens will be proven to exist. Maybe not with this story, but eventually. You'll see. You'll all see. Sammy G said, Hey Charlotte, what did you eat for breakfast this morning? I always have an Americano with cinnamon on top and an organic oat bar from the coffee place nearby. I usually start my day with oats. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I would love it if you checked out my personal YouTube channel, but if not, I'll see you in another IO video.